a splinter of their of, of their fan base, depending on what they pick and choose out of what I say about them, I'm going to lose. That's why I say that for me, without attaching my name to any large organization or joining any clan or no clique or any big group, you know, I'm, I face a tall task of climbing this mountain, so I build my channel brick by brick. But one of my observations is, I think a lot of y'all are getting good cop, bad cop, man. And then again, just like when I was talking about, you know, that chessboard, I'm actually talking about something else. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm just going to plant a couple seeds. I might be watering a couple seeds right now, and then this message might actually be a harvest to somebody actually listening. But my message to you is do not get good cop, bad cop. <laughs> you know, you, you, you ever watch First 48? And they, they're, they're stuck, you know what I'm saying? They, they see the body, there's a couple clues. You know, whether it was a, a, a cell phone off of the bushes or a knife with some blood on it, a hint of a fingerprint. And, you know, they go a couple hours, maybe six hours, they get, you know, a major break in the case. They bring in somebody for questioning. They sit them down in the room. The good cop comes in. How you doing, man? You hungry? How you doing? You, you you hungry? You need something to eat? You uh you want you want a cigarette? The minute you take, the minute you drink the water, the minute you take the cigarette, the minute you eat the food, it kind of got you. It got you. You don't realize it because again, you're gonna be reactive at that point. You weren't proactive and understand what was going on to you, but. When you hear these people come out early in the day, these might be the people that, you know, um, in all essence of the word, they might, uh, let's just say they might uh, read you your rights. They might give you your Mirandas. You know, the, you have a right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand? Do you agree and accept? Proceed for This will be a recorded message. You know, basically saying that pretty much anything that happens right here, we're going to use this in the case. So they'll lay down the law. They'll tell you the law. And you're like, oh, man, I like this person, man. They, they, you know, they tell me the law. They bring out the books. They give me all of these codes, the 6-2, and they'll tell you all the, you know, maritime law and, you know, how you spoil the proceed and how you spoil the rebuttal and how you, how you can object and what your rights are. You have the right of the second, you know, whatever, you know, all these big terminologies. So you thinking, man, yeah, this is good, man. And they're, they're telling you, oh man, you know, this, this is what I like. This is what I like, man. I like this fighter. Oh man, this is what it really is. This is what, you know, but they don't keep it a hundred either because you got to realize, man, you're still dealing with a cop. Still dealing with a cop. And, and, uh, he said, hold on, man, I mean, you know, I'm, you know, you're good with this water, you, you're good with the water and the cigarette, you, you, your sandwich good, you know what I'm saying, you want some chips? Hold on real quick, I gotta go get something. So I walks the good cop. And walks the bad cop. The bad cop won't come in right away and tell you, you know what? We on to you. Now, Either you can give us what we need, you can tell us what's going on, but we're going to put your little walnuts in the vice grip, and we're going to squeeze with both hands until you give us what you want, or what we want. It's definitely not what you want. And every day this goes on, the good cop comes in. This goes on for hours. The good cop comes in, he tells you this and this and that. You know what I'm saying? And then the bad cop comes back and he tells you this and this and that. But what you got to think about is um, in the future, when you hear me say coin toss, as fans, don't be coin tossed. Don't be coin tossed. Well, what do you mean, Mike? On a coin, 
there's heads and there's tails. They throw the coin up in the air wherever it lands, blah, blah, blah. What you got to understand is that whether it's heads or tails, those are both sides of the same coin. And that's how, as boxing fan, that's how you get played. You are being coin tossed, you know, by some people who, one, one's playing the good cop, one's playing the bad cop. Either way, they're both sides of the same coin. What is that coin worth? Well, it depends. Depends on who's playing good cop and bad cop. You got to go beneath the surface, man. But you can't just... We, we're so unassuming. You know, um, I know even with me. Even with me and my dealings online. I mean, I go places and I do things. And even without any ill intentions, I'm just like everybody else. Just going along, you know, just chatting it up. Just, you know, living it up. Just like everybody else. Nothing derogatory. You know, people uh, will pick and choose what they find offensive. About what I say. About what I do. You know, it's, it's for me, it's like, it's almost been like that. You know what I'm saying? All my life, I'm going to a store, somebody looking at me crazy. You know, but it might be how I look. You know what I'm saying? It might, I just realized that a lot of people don't like the truth. When you point out the truth, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like hitting somebody in they, in they um, no no spot. The truth nowadays is like poking somebody in their no-no spot. So, you you know, the truth is not appreciated. The truth is not celebrated. Right now, we're in the era of salation. And the 48 laws of power, whereas, you know, all publicity is good publicity. Where if you can get enough numbers online and enough people echo in that same sentiment, then that's perceived as the truth. And it couldn't be more far from it. So right now, you know, in the morning, somebody will come on and they'll say this, that's the good cop. In the afternoon, somebody else will come on and say that, that's the bad cop. Either way, you're getting played. Either way, you're getting played. And that coin is going in that machine. And that machine really has no real power except for to make money. So my appeal to you is to not be coin tossed, do not be good cop, bad cop, walk circumspectly, and really pay attention to how people flip flop. Because they'll show you who they are. They'll show you exactly who they are and what they're about and what, what all this is about. And what it boils down to is the almighty dollar. They say that the almighty dollar is the root of all evil. And I, again, I referenced that clause where Al Pacino said, I'm the hand of Mona Lisa's skirt. I'm the one that they don't see coming. <laughs> y'all didn't see people coming, man. Y'all don't, y'all didn't see these people coming. Y'all didn't, y'all really still don't even understand what's going on right now. And a lot of y'all actually have your little walnuts in the rice grip. Whereas you, you at the mercy of going along and getting along and because you, you see yourself in that spot. But guess what? You're never going to get in that spot. And the sooner, it's just like being in a bad relationship. I've been in several. But even in a bad relationship, when you realize that you're in a bad relationship, the very first thing you should do is cut it off and get out. You should go. You should leave. Why? Because if you make amends, you open up, you make a sacrifice, you give up something that you really shouldn't or agree to something that you really shouldn't, and that happens, now you just one step deeper. So to climb up out of that hole, you just dug that hole just a little bit deeper. So to climb up out of that hole, it's not deep yet. It's fairly shallow. But every time you give in, you're digging that hole deeper. So when you finally get out, it's going to be harder to get out, but then you also left a big manhole in your life. Something that you got to acknowledge. And yeah, dirt will fall in it. It'll close up eventually. You know what I'm saying? It'll, it'll, you know, the, the surface will be smooth. Maybe even the soil will be rich. Something else can grow inside of it. 
But when you realize you're in a bad relationship and you see these red flags, believe them. <laughs> believe these red flags. And every day online, we see red flags, man. So that's just like where you can have common goodwill. You can go and support somebody. You say, hey, hey, man, yeah, you're doing good stuff. But because y'all don't agree on everything, the minute they find something you say to be offended by, they're going to squeeze your little walnuts. They're going to set in offense because that's that's cute nowadays that's that's common nowadays they're gonna they're gonna say something purposely to offend you but they want the back and forth so right now what i'm saying is man it's a lot of people with manufactured beef it's a lot of people with manufactured drama people are being good cop bad cop and i just see people like that little ping pong when you look at ping pong or tennis, man, like everybody, they, they always got a lot of balls. They always have all these extra ping pongs. Why? Because the ping pong is the thing that's probably going to get damaged the most. The tennis ball is probably the thing that's going to get damaged the most. And it's the most disposable. And that's what you are right now in boxing. If you're just watching, you're getting good cop, bad cop. You think that because, oh, this big crowd is over here watching this. It's just like a big crowd over here watching the fight. In high school, when somebody getting there, and there's a student sitting down at the desk still doing the work. Be that student sitting down at the desk doing the work. Do not follow what everybody else is doing. We we, we we learned this when we were younger, but somehow we forgot. And I always said the loudest voice is not the most important. The loudest voice is not the most important. I just wanted to put that out there, man, give you something to think about in the sport of boxing, man, because um, it's one thing to support somebody, but it's another thing to act like, you know, we can act like we know what we know about business or don't know, you know, we can act ignorance, but uh, ignorance is no excuse um, when it comes to the law. You can play ignorant all you want, but the law is the law. And the way some people are doing business and how people are, how some of these people are doing business, it's like the person that's always overselling and under delivering. I can see if when they got in the ring, it was lights out. I can see if, you know, people don't constantly say that they will, they fall asleep watching this fighter, but everything this fighter says and does is the, is the gospel, it's the truth. You are being good cop, bad cop, man, and you just don't realize it. When they come out and be like, oh, man, you know, you think you have an advocate because they'll come out and they'll give you little sprinkles or little fractions of the truth. But they won't give you that full throttle. And they won't fully disagree with the bad cop. So you never see the good cop and the bad cop. They might act like it's a little something going on and that, you know, there's a little bit of friction. But you got to realize they work for the same people. Don't be... Good cop, bad cop. I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna make this long. This is just something that you know, something that I kind of want to do more often. I used to do these all the time, you know. But um, I started saying that you know what, my original audience was an audience that didn't necessarily have to see me. My audience didn't necessarily have to have a short attention span. My audience could actually sit and actually listen and comprehend and use their imagination, furnish their own visuals, and take away what they need to take away. So when I start doing more graphics and being more visual, I think that appeals to a certain audience that might not cater to the demographic that I want on my channel. That's why I say, man, my channel is not for everybody. My channel is for hardcore people that's gonna keep it above, people that can separate Bud Crawford and Shakur Stevenson. People that can separate Earl Spence and Frank Martin. People that can separate Tank from Devin, from Shakur and look at them on a case-by-case -case basis. But a lot of the things that people are saying just because they say it over and over again, it does not make it true. I'm going to leave you with this. They're still teaching the youth that Christopher Columbus discovered America. Let that sink in. Yeah, anyway, let that sink. In, Let that sink in, man. <laughs> What's going on, y'all, man? Um, I'm just back, man. Um, I just been seeing a lot of things, man. And one of the number one hacks right now 
one of the number one hacks right now is this good cop bad cop routine <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's that good cop bad cop routine man and and, and i think a lot of y'all don't even realize what's going on um all of this you know one heads one's tails but they're both part of the same coin because it's all about the coin <laughs> you know what i'm saying talk to me tuesdays man uh top gun tuesdays trolls tell the truth tuesday you might not like it man and in the army man they used to say uh it's tight but it's right you know what i'm saying but this that clip i was saying man this is what y'all didn't see coming like with these people man y'all didn't see this right here this is this is that clip i'm the hand of mona lisa skirt i'm a surprise captain they don't see me coming. Y'all don't see, y'all don't really know who, who y'all got, man. Y'all y'all be thinking that, oh, man, they speak so well, and they so highly blah, blah, this, and they so that, you know what I'm saying? But it's really not about boxing anymore. You know what I'm saying? I was, uh, I was on Troll Patrol today. You know what I'm saying? I can honestly say I, I don't believe that I even commented on anybody's uh, stuff today. I was just on troll patrol. I was just watching. I was just listening. I was just waiting. You know what I'm saying? And I I I found myself just really appreciating the fact that there are some people that's willing to stand up and speak the truth. <laughs> There's some people that's still willing to just get out there and just say what need to be said, you know what I'm saying, regardless of the backlash. You know, they're not going to be in the in crowd. You know, the superficial people that used to be in high school. You know, I mean, I was a jock in high school. I wasn't superficial, though. You know what I'm saying? I, I always comment about how I'm back in high school. My my, uh, my homie, he was like, um, mo he got voted most popular. <laughs> and we'll be standing there. I'll be right beside him because we was like, you know what I'm saying? We was we was close. You know, so I'll be standing right beside him, man, and people would come up and be dapping him up. And he was the social type. He would talk to everybody. And if I didn't rock with you, I'm going to look at you and just act like you ain't even standing there. That's always been me, man. I've never been swayed by the masses, man. That's why I think I've been born in the right time frame, man, because this time right now is like right out of the era of Chattel. For those who don't know what that is, then I mean, uh, you know, I can't really help you. Um, But figure i was born in the right time because i've always been the one that's going to say something man. and that's the old i get i'm getting ready to be 43 years old on 12 20. i was born at 80. went to the army in 98. two months not even two months after i graduated old soul you know what i'm saying but i was born in the right time and i always say this i stay in the house I get into the boxing stuff and all that, man, because I can't, like, I notice when I go places or I see something that ain't right, I have to say something, man. And that's like an impulse of mine that I got to get under control. But, like, when you see stuff that's going on that's just not right, man, it just don't sit well. Because I'd have been one of them ones that they strapped to one of them horses and sent them horses in four different directions, man. They would have had to get me up out of there. So... Fortunately, I was born in a time where I'm still agitated. I still stay uh, sensitive to the plight, you know, but I see a lot of us with a crab in the barrel mentality. I see a lot of us who don't even know, like we don't even know friends and allies. We don't even know allies and enemies no more. We don't know who's our true ally, who's our true enemy. We don't know. And a lot of time, man, you just falling under the spell of influence, the power of influence with these people that's practicing these 48 laws of power. And you're you're, you're waffling every day. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I hear some of the most ridiculous things, man. I heard today, like, I'm not even going to get into it. I just appreciate, I just appreciate that um, I heard somebody call in somewhere, man, and, um, really speak to this good cop you know what i'm saying he, he basically you know what i'm saying gave he, he basically gave the uh the good cap the good cop a whack in the cojone man he basically told that man you know what i'm saying like look man this and this and that and i i don't 
I don't agree with everything, you know what I'm saying, on the show, but I always say hey, I'm about 90% with the dude, you know what I'm saying? I guess he don't really appreciate that, but I'm like 90% rocking with what, he, what he's saying. That's rare. That's pretty hot. Most people, I'm like 80, 20, you know what I'm saying? And since boxing is boxing, man, we can disagree, but I heard the dumbest thing today. I'm going to go ahead and get into that. I heard the dumbest thing. I heard this dude say today that because people were, were picking uh, this one fighter over the other and the other fighter happened to win, that it was just rooted in ground and they was wrong and that they had to just like stop it man like right now we in the era right now where you can really tell who's never really winning in life man in life you take l's <laughs> you take l's in life am i the only one that, that took an l in life you know what i'm saying like you take l's in life it happened to the best of us but am i the only one that ever took an l I would ask, you know what I'm saying? I would want to sit them down and say, hey, man, okay, so who did you have in the, in the fourth in the anyway? The, yeah, who would you have in the fourth in the anyway? Most people were saying Fulton. Why? Because they was, they was good cop, bad cop. They was giving some bad information, didn't do their homework. We do our homework over here. We do homework and we do body work. That's what we do. We did our research. We studied. We talked about it. I had dialogue with my old head, according to my old head. That's that's part of the best segment I got on the show where I feature him in because even though he doesn't make content, he's a hardcore, but he don't, he just been around for so long and watched and consumed so much boxing. But just because you make it now, just because you make a pick and you get a pick wrong, you got somebody got to shut their channel down. Stop it, man. Stop it. And all this stuff about, you know what I'm saying? I, I love how people love to, like, not pay attention to what's really going on. Like, I love how people, like, choose to ignore, turn the other cheek. They got to speak up and they got to be vocal about everything and this, and this, and that. And them two, they tear down other black people, too. They do it as well. They do it as well. Because in this era, that's what gets you all the attention. When you think about what vlad what he be doing on his channel and how he got it going man that's all we rocking with that's we want to hear the salation so now the whole conversation around boxing is about the t it's about the t and i, and I enjoy your good I, I enjoy your nice freshly brewed you know what i'm saying cup of tea myself i do i appreciate it i'm talking about for real though not around boxing talk man we go every it's like everybody is catering to the juicy because they don't really do their homework man there's so many fighters they could have been talking about but they still stuck on one and i'm out you know and i watch and i observe you know what i'm saying like you you can't not see what's going on you can't not have seen the netflix thing you you can't not you know seen the acne you cannot have seen that you know, one fighter just was clearly not himself that night. You can't. Everybody wants to say, oh, man, that's an excuse. And that's it. That's like, oh, like, how do y'all even have real dialogue with each other? Because for the past two, three weeks, it's been the same thing every, like, y'all the type of people that just want to say, you wrong. You know, you wrong. You wrong. You know, you wrong. Like, like, what's up? Ain't nothing else going on up here. That's all we doing is just going around, just we just checking somebody on the same thing. Nope, you were wrong about that. And then tomorrow I'm gonna tell you, yep, you were wrong about that pick. Okay, they're gonna have to fight again. If not, they're gonna have to fight some other people. But now what? We got the people that pick Earl gotta live in like what? So raise your hand if you pick Fulton. They fought on the same week. So most people, most people. There's a fear, that's probably about 7% of the people out here that was giving their picks that said that Bud was going to do what he did to Spence and that in a way was going to do what he did to force him. It's about 7% of people out here, if I had to put a hard number on it. So what, uh, so, so let me guess. So since according to my old head is like the biggest segment in my, in my man, he like in a way. And I grew to like in a way, and I started studying and watching and started thinking more and more about legacy because I was starting to say, okay, well, the belt, the belts matter and they don't sometimes. It just depends. Because Roley got a belt. 
coming off a knockout loss. Got dropped by an old man. Even Spence was joking about it. He got a belt. How seriously do you take Roley right now? What would happen if Roley got in there with Matias? What would happen if Roley got in there with Regis? What would happen if Roley got in there with Josh Taylor? What would happen if Roley got in there with Richardson Hitchens? Jose Zapata? Ron Garcia? Gary Antoine Russell? The Butcher? What would happen? So belts matter. Okay. And, and, and right now, in the same breath, in the same vein of everything, Jamel Charlo is getting no respect. I mean, this man got undisputed, like granted. Somebody got undisputed down here. Somebody else got undisputed down here. Somebody else got undisputed down here. Jamel Charlo got it at 154. They be saying this weight class is for a reason, right? Their weight class is for a reason, right? He gets no respect of being an undisputed champion. People are still initiating dialogue about Bud and Canelo. And you got good cops that still letting that conversation go by. The good cop will. The bad cop is on probably, you know what I'm saying? The, the bad cop is on right now, but but playing cleanup, playing devil's advocate, saying the exact same opposite. But you rock with both of them. How so? How sway? Like, y'all don't realize what's going on, man? All right. You got the good cop, bad cop hack. That's a boxing hack, right? You also got the, the renter troll. You realize that people are out here, like, renting trolls? <laughs> you you realize people out here renting trolls? Like, you, like, right now, once, once you start getting some numbers, you start getting people, you know what I'm saying, coming in or whatever, you can actually have somebody you know call in or show up and just troll you and you can direct your attention and you're going to get the likes, you're going to get the clicks, you're going to get the views. Why? Because people like that low level energy. That low level fruit. Y'all remember on the Matrix when he was eating that steak, man, and he was, he was cutting that steak and he said, I know it's fake, but it tastes so good. <laughs> That's what we're doing now. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're doing now. So if somebody say, all right, well, shoot, I might not agree with your pick, but hey, man, man, the dude can think logically. He can form logical sentences. You know, on a, he's a, in general, he's on an up and up. The minute, the minute you disagree with that person, they're going to cut you off. And when you get to the point to where you say, man, you know what? Get the F out of here. You know what I'm saying? Get off my life because you have questions. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy how we can criticize everybody else, but we can't look introspectly and, and, and you know what I'm saying, and, and take care of ourselves. It's like, you know, how you gonna get the splinter, you know, out of your neighbor's eye when you got a plank <laughs> in yours. So I'll be sitting back. I'll be like, man, hey, I know I'm, I'm, I'm imperfectly perfect, <laughs> full of imperfections, but I'm a perfectionist. So for me, man, before I even really, it, it, it done ran through my mind like a thousand times before I even say anything, but I just look at it everything now and then. Right now, man, boxing is taking on something else, man. It's a different complexion, man. This is a hustle. If you came from somewhere else doing something else, you can bring that whole audience in and you could just be messy and sloppy and cause all this chaos and all this, you know what I'm saying? You could just, you could do that. You know what I'm saying? If that's how you want to get it, like, I mean, it's like 50 did it. He came in with How to Rock. You know what I'm saying? Uncle Murder, he did it. He came in. He bumped my man off. You know what I'm saying? He bumped my man off the New Year's joint. Messy and sloppy. Like, you can you can get your, you can climb your way in. You, you know what I'm saying? You can get a, a little foothold in that way and just ruffle some feathers and get in. But, like, man, like, that's what we on now. It ain't really about the who got the better jab. Who got the better footwork? Who got the better defense? Who got the faster hands? Who got the higher boxing IQ? You know, who's been battle tested? It's not about that now. It's like you can you can jump on another man while nuts right now if he get into the bag. 
And that's all that matters. And I always say, man, be careful what you want because of the bag. A lot of people do a lot of crazy, silly stuff. And at the end of the day, the tail end of the tape be somebody saying, oh, yeah, though, but hey, you got to admit, he getting to the bag. Like, you realize some of the things, some of the horrific things that's going on in the music industry, some of the horrific things that's going on in the movie industry. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, they getting to the bag, but at what expense, though? <laughs> yeah so we gotta think about that man like when we you know when you start excusing behavior just because of a bag or not a bag like we it's still conversations about them going to one world currency and like you know shutting down banks and you know financial institutions and stuff like that and we so concerned with somebody getting into a bag. If they shut everything down, you're going to need something other than a bag. You're going to need some gasoline. You're going to need some petroleum. You know, you're going to need some uh, some, some cooking oil. You're going to need some fresh water or a water purifier. Like, it's going to be a lot of things that you're going to be able to need. Something that you're going to be able to barter. But it, I guarantee you this, it ain't going to be no bag. And you're going to have to know how to throw these down. Oh yeah, this this gonna come down to this. Like when when everything is, you gonna have to know how to do that. That's the rawest element. That's why we actually enjoy the sport. But right now, everybody's in the oh man, I caught you lying or oh man, that's cat. You know what I'm saying? Because you say it so loud and proud, but you omit so many different things. And that goes for everybody, man. We all do it with our favorite fighters. You know what I'm saying? We all do it. But it's crazy how, man, like, we, we are in the Terrence Bud Crawford era. That, we are that. We are. We got to admit that. He did what he he did what he did needed to do. So it stands right now. Until that Jamel Charlo fight and that Canelo fight happen, and, and you know, the, the results of that go about, th this is his era. I just want to caution you that there is footage out here of things that was done. There's tapes out of things that was out there and said, but in your midst of always arguing and trying to he he ha ha and i was so right and you so wrong in the midst of all that remember you're gonna look like a real fool as these tapes come out and surface because right now everybody's in a honeymoon phase you know what i'm saying people are even in a honeymoon phase you know what i'm saying and they ready to get a hand up a, a bud that's a new product a bud handlebar or a devon handlebar or a you know a wild handlebar like or a tank handlebar like everybody's trying to get you know what i'm saying a handlebar on their favorite fighter right now so you either in the honeymoon era or you in the tearing down era and and just like the whole wilder thing man without no proof i don't like it man i didn't like it when it was going on with wilder and fury i did not like all those allegations i said i'm one of them ones where I apply everything to the street. You know how many dudes get locked up or how many dudes that got punished or shot or hurt because some female lied, but they had proof. So out here, you know what I'm saying? Because somebody could put a jacket on you out here and they could say something verbally out here. And you're guilty. You can be proven innocent, but it's too much time. So much time go by. They say, man, so much time go by, man. When the truth come out, it don't even matter. When you think about John Benet Ramsey and all that, and like how everybody knew what was going on, man, they let them go off and live their whole, you know what I'm saying? They go to you, get book deals, got signing deals, got all this stuff. And then they come back like, yeah, they, they had already found a, a fake letter. So much time go by where a lie go out and the lie spread and it just get, by the time the truth come out, it don't matter. Some of the biggest CO in spirits is the same way. Like, so it was a lie for so long when the truth finally came out about what happened, it didn't matter. So it's like right now, man, like we should be really uplifting boxes, man. There, there are more fighters out here than Earl Spence and Bud Crawford. It's a big fight this week. I have not seen a video about Ammo Williams and Richardson Hitchens yet. That's a double header. I rarely even see the Jamel Charlo and, and, and Canelo. And anything I see about Jamel Charlo is 
oh man, he's different. He's all docile. This is not his normal self. I don't know about this. It wasn't going to rock with him anyway because if he was still rowdy and rambunctious and all that, you can be like, oh, he ain't changed. He better calm down. It's like with us, it's damned if you do or damned if you don't. But we ain't talking about it. You'd rather be out here making all kind of crazy accusations about people and having people. It, you know, it could be true, but it's sloppy if it ain't no proof. So if a broad go out here and say something about you, and she tell this and it spread like wildfire, like a rumor mill, like a call center, it just spread like wildfire, right? You're gonna be mad because you have no proof. With the whole wild and fury thing, that was like, like he didn't use the proof and go make something happen. So we gotta stop that. It's a big distraction right now. Because believe it or not, if that rematch is to go on, we need to start putting equity back into that fight. We've done enough because it's going. If, if it's been reenact, if it's been reenacted and it's about to go down, we might as well put value back in it and not rob from it. Let's get it over with. But we running around, hee hee, ha ha, I got my pick right, you got yours wrong, and you're being good cop, bad cop. Because you run over here thinking, oh man, yeah, I got the medicine, you know what I'm saying, this is the medicine, whatever. That medicine got side effects. That medicine got side effects. You start developing people ways, man. You, you That's why you got to kind of know Kung Fu, you know what I'm saying? Um, you got to know how keto, you got to know how to box. You got, you got to know how to wrestle. You got to be kind of well-rounded, man. You can't just, you know, get your information from one source. And humility, man, I don't know where it is right now in 2023. I mean, I can only imagine. I ask people all the time when we start talking about how crazy the world getting and everything. I'd be like, man, what you think the world going to look like five years from now? Back to this subject, what do you think boxing going to look like five years from now, man? Like, because people didn't want to fight each other and people was holding out and trying to marinate and, you know, oh, no, I need this. I mean, granted, you get hit in the head for a living, but we got, it's a very slippery slope when we start basing every single thing we do on money. But then in some conversations, you want to say A side and I got the bag. Like, it, it don't make, it don't add up. It don't add up. And we know that in life, we really got to use the discernment, man, in everything, man. You got to you, you gotta eat the fish and spit out the bones. You got to be open to looking at things from a different perspective. I have to do it. Oh, I say I go somewhere where somebody don't like me and I'll listen just to see, okay, well, damn, okay, that's how they look at it. I don't understand it. You know what I'm saying? I understand now. Yeah, well, they got a point there. You know what I'm saying? But not all that other stuff. It's like, it's balance, man. That's what body work about. I do my homework. I do my research. You know what I'm saying? I try to uplift, you know. Um, and another thing is, man, this whole, um, I was going to save this for Fanboy Friday, but like this whole, this thing that, that we're doing in the community, man, that because he have a father, like, do you know that other people listen and watch us? Like, you know how silly that sounds, man? You know how silly that sounds, man. Like, whenever somebody insert that, man, I just, it just loses me. And we got to stop that, man. Because a lot of people look at that man's... A lot of people look at that man in the same vein they look at Floyd. So if, if you are... If you got your promoter hat on, you got your promoter hat on, right? Then you're gonna judge Floyd the same way you judge Eddie, the same way you judge Al, the same way you judge Bob, the same way you should judge Bill. It's asinine to try to say that, man. And it, it look real weak, man. It look real. It's it's a weak. It's a weak argument, man. Along with it, really sound like you really don't have anything to say. You know what I'm saying? You really don't have anything to say. And it's really to just justify. Now, if you want to turn your head to some actions and you don't, you know, you don't want to acknowledge that this guy has done some things that, you know what I'm saying, you wouldn't want done to you. Even wearing the promotion hat. You know what I'm saying? Some things that some other trainer fathers have never done and had way more respect and probably going to be in the Hall of Fame. But I digress. But we, we pick up 
you know we'll go over here and we'll pick oh i like that so you'll pick this up from over there and you'll pick this up from over there but you keep going back over here and you're going to start developing and becoming what you put your mind to where you spend all your time your energy and your effort when they really it's just about a bag man i'm trying to get back to the sport of boxing i think i think everybody kind of like are getting it's getting distracted because it's about the bag and who ducked who and what who didn't sign this contract who moving on at the end of the day we we came here to watch them fight and we're not doing and saying anything that's going to echo them two getting back in the ring or them two getting in the ring eventually we're hurting the sport you know what i'm saying something so small man something so small man you can grab somebody by their pinky man you can you can grab somebody by their pinky with a, a set of pliers man i'm telling you you probably won't be able to get all kind of information it's like some of the smallest things man can impact everything man these people got i mean they they're not like they're not like gang they're not in gangs you know what i'm saying we it's a lot of gang culture going on in boxing and they're not in gangs man they're civilians everybody's civilian acting like game until you get good cop bad cop and you you figure out like oh man are these two people they all on the same sheet of music like they playing us man we the ones getting played we the ones getting played by everybody man we just gotta start looking at all everybody circumspect we gotta start doing our homework on everybody man we gotta start doing our research on everybody you know what i'm saying like everything need to get held up under the light everything need to get passed up under scrutiny man and all this gloating and all this man we act like we ain't never won nothing man i can tell who ain't never won nothing i can also tell who ain't never really did no real business you just you, uh, people can spit all these gaudy numbers and how they did this, this but we can tell man that you would never agree to some of the things business wise you would never be willing to do business with a person like that and if i say a person like that and you know who i'm referring to then my point is made you would never outside on the street do business with a person like that you wouldn't and the person that actually you know did what they needed to do to make sure that we got it everybody is just crapping on him that's why i understand sometimes when i be like dang man why do i go over here to get that product why do i patronize over there to get that product because when i go over here trying to support and get that product from over here this this is our mindset on business it's, it's it's we we try to redo everything when you look at everybody in the music business everything that has been done to them they try to do it to the next man like because the label did that to them they're gonna sign somebody and do that to them that's what we are like i, I found myself so many times in boxing man like this year just sitting around listening to people talk about boxing i'm like hold on so you don't want him to be at his best like and i'm not even i'm not even talking about bud and spence let's take bud and spence out of it i heard people in conversations like and i'm sitting there like as a boxing it's like man no i don't want no excuse for when i do that to you i don't want no excuse for if we ever had to throw down the one or two like oh man you know i had you know i just was recovering from COVID. oh man i had the flu i don't want no i'm not gonna have no excuses But I heard so many different conversations where it's like, hold on, man. Like, now I'm not going to give him no advantage in being able to be, you know, like, what? Like, I'm like, that don't even go with, like, when we, you talking about Mono, Mono, Apex Predator, the creme de la creme, like the best versus the very best. What you want to see? I don't want to see somebody, you know what I'm saying? I was one person might want to put their hand behind their back. But some of the things that we clamor for right in the heat of the moment because we can't control ourselves and we impulsive and we just want our opinions to be heard and we just want to say, you know what I'm saying? When we climb in, we do that, like in the long run, we really make ourselves look silly and it, and it make it seem like that. Which you, you just want to see unfair fights. We just want to see unfair fights. We got people that are clamor. Like we got people right now that are pay $100 to see Tank fight anyway right now they'll pay for that but then they don't give anyway no credit for 
all the things that he's been able to do legacy wise. But then on the opposite end, they don't give Teddy no credit for everything he was able to do with the cash cow and moving up in his own different divisions and doing, you know, paving out his way. But we would want to see them fight. People would pay to see that fight. And the thing is that, in a way, one of five way classes, you have to come up three more. And people would pay for that. But in the same breath with Jamel Charlo moving up, who's naturally bigger, he has no shot. I'm like, what is going on around boxing conversation? And I know every time because before, if you got to preface every time you talk about, if every time you get ready to talk about a fight, if you got to say, oh, and I like Canelo, before you talk about it, it's like, no, man, we know what you're doing, man. You signaling it out to everybody. Look, man, I don't want to offend nobody because you know you're a Canelo fan. It's like, man, let's keep it, let's keep it a buck. Some of the same things they be saying about Tank, you can say about Canelo. Only Tank doing it from a little, he's doing it from a, he's doing it from a lightweight. He doing it, you know what I'm saying? He doing it from a lightweight. Normally the bigger they are, you know what I'm saying, the more they sell. So that was really ran by the heavyweights until Floyd took it over. He come along Tank doing that. Selling out every center, every ring. You don't get no credit for coming up and build, you know, however it was done. Sure that he got skilled. Only two people made it out. They all were professional. High quality fighters. And we would pay for that. But then we'll be, you know, because we're so passionate and we want to be so, I guess, um, tribalistic. You know what I'm saying? It's like if you, like right now, like if you from Philly, you can't tell the truth about nobody from Philly. Right now, if you from Philly, and that's just one city over, man, like that, that's right there, man. Philly is like right there. You know what I'm saying? From Baltimore, like it's Baltimore, Philly is right there. If you from Philly right now, you can't tell the truth on no Philly fighter, man. You can't speak your mind like right now. You can't say what you want to say about Boots. You know what I'm saying? Without saying, oh my gosh, like what are you talking about? Nobody ever said why Danny ain't never fight Boots? That's been house. That's been house. That'd have been big for the city. Ain't nobody ever said why Boots ain't been at the Eagles game. Why, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't say nothing. I stay away from it because I like them, but it's like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to start developing the same things that happen with, you know, when I analyze and I look at you know, the same things that happen with Boots. It's just, we can't give it 100. That don't got nothing to do with not seeing the skill set that he got, but the truth of the matter is, like I said all the time, man. Always, always the height, always the reach, always the size, man. It's not unfair to ask to really be able to gauge who that is. You got to be able to see it with somebody on that same level, that same size. Some advantage is over them. And to not see it, you don't know what you get. I, I, you know, I hear about the uh, the examples about Lubin. Everybody, you know what I'm saying, the field drip came against you. That's just as a boxing fan, you would see that. Everybody thought that about Berlanga. Everybody thought he was that guy. You know what I'm saying? Then, you know what I'm saying? People figure out he wasn't that guy. Then what happened? Lubin clipped him in sparring. And the fact that sparring leaked, sparring ain't sacred no more. But if you want to see the, the, the brass part of boxing, you the ones in the pools, the mano in mano, like the things that really matter about the boxing, that's what really matters, not the team. Just think about it. If it's juicy enough, TMZ is going to spill the tea way better and it's going to be way hotter than you. But that's, everybody, that's all people want to do right now. They just want to spill the tea. They want to spill the tea on everybody, man. And boxing is a cool sport. You know what I'm saying? Sport. I think people are just now coming around and kind of like getting off the whole maybe Jamal was going to do some things. I think people are just now saying, you know what, man, maybe I was just a little, but you still got people saying, I don't like it. We're the only people that do that, man. I ain't never heard nobody say, man, you know what? I ain't working with no Jackie Chan, but I, I do mess with Jet Lee, though. Oh, man. Man, Jet Lee ain't nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't, he ain't nothing, man. But Bruce Lee, though, we, we the only one. We the only one, really, that do that. Out and about. 
where even for even for the sake of a conversation, we cannot afford to do it. Only reason why I really say something because I see a whole lot of like I, I I'm about balance, man. I'm about balance. So only reason why I really be saying something about it is because it'd be so one sided. I could see if it was like if you you just if you just had these accusations against this one, but you had other accusations against this one, and you kind of like played it like it's like ping pong. It's not like that. It's just like that's all you want to do. You just want to keep stabbing this one, and you will never get that one. It's like, oh no, nah, man, he's good. He do everything perfect. He's he does everything good. But then you don't want to acknowledge the greatness in the other one, man. It's like, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? We might as well get back off of uh, YouTube and start you know what I'm saying, going back to Netflix and all that. Like, well, we can actually, you know what I'm saying? We can pick. We can hand pick. You know what I'm saying? We can really narrow it down to what kind of drama we want. And right now, it's just lawless right now. It's just wild, wild west, man. And a couple cops out here. Good cop, bad cop. You know what I'm saying? Either way, they flipping that coin and that coin going in their pocket. While we arguing. We could be running things, man. We could be, everybody out here could be making so much bread, man. We could be making so much bread. We could be making so much, we could be making a lot more, but we develop and we're enacting the same thing that we're enacting upon us against everybody else. You know what I'm saying? You go through the ringer, you come up, you, you know, somebody put you, you know, through the ringer, even when you, you know, doing the apprenticeship, you out, know, you just, you know what I'm saying? They drag you like how they do um initial stuff like that. They drag you all through, you prove up, whatever they crash you. You can't wait to get in that spot so you can do the same thing as somebody else. That need to stop. It's just a vicious cycle. And and what people don't really realize, I use this analogy all the time. It's like when, you know, a mom sit down and ask her son, she's like, now son. You want mommy to give you the mask, or you want daddy to give you the mask? He was like, "You, mommy, I want you." You know why? Because mommy gonna do the little airplane, and she gonna open up, and she gonna deliver it like that. I'm like, "Hey, I ain't got time, man. Take this medicine." Guess what? Either one, you get the same medicine. Y'all don't really realize what's going on, man. People are popping popcorn all around, and, and, and ironically. A lot of us are part of the circuit. A lot of us are part of the circuit. You don't realize you're juggling balls. You don't. You don't realize it. You don't, you don't realize you up there. You just juggling balls, and you don't even know it. You just. You just out here just just juggling balls, and you don't even realize it. But you part of the act because you done bought in and you hold hardly and you staunch and this and this. Uh, everything is every, nothing in life is like that. Nothing in life is absolute. Nothing in life is all this way. Like, no, the truth is somewhere in the middle. We don't even want to work. We go, oh, no, man, I told you. I told you. We all know it's the game. But I don't know how we're going to knock them. And a lot of us are doing the same thing. Assuming, you know what I'm saying? You don't even stop to even think or want to consider. You know what I'm saying? You don't even want to stop and think and say, hey man, it's, hey, I ain't really got no real issue. Like, no, we we done been, you know what I'm saying? We've been programmed to think that way. We've been programmed to go even hard on everybody else. You know what I'm saying? People that spoke to us, that might work with us. People like people are programmed to stop and just do things and act crazy, stupid ways against each other. And it's me, I, I'm off when I see that. I thought Boston really was, man. I thought it was like a safe haven, man. Not like a safe haven that's where, you know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, a little bit of politics right now. Politics is just consuming Boston, man. But people don't even really talk about Boston no more. And when I heard uh call of the day, he said, man, do y'all, he said, do y'all even talk about boxing? That's what I was thinking. I'm like, I can't say nothing because instantly I would have got stamped as a troll. And I'll say, I got receipts. All these people I used to see with that, all of these people, I'm talking about every day, like multiple different. I was part of the, I was part of it. I used to super chat every day, just showing support, just showing back. Just, you know what I'm saying? Like I was in there, like soon as that, that ticket go in, I was in there, front row, was like, hey, you know I'm, I'm in the building, what's happening? I was there. I had wrenches that I didn't ask for a long time ago. I gave back. I'm like, nah, man, I don't want somebody to see me comment and then my name 
got a wrench beside and they think I'm jacking everything you say. I, I'm not jacking everything you say. I'm here to support because you you going down the right path. You got creativity. You got what you know what it takes. You talking that stuff. Facebook counselors in these shows. You got that. But somewhere I see it all the time. Somewhere they all get off. Where it's just about the money. And you start seeing the slippery, you know, you start seeing those slippery slopes. You start seeing those inconsistencies. You start seeing those double standards. And it's the same thing. So then, you know, if you were created to be a safe haven or a place for people like myself to come and talk, how does it always change into something else when I don't agree with you? You haven't mastered how to agree to disagree, how to disarm. You know, saying how to talk, how to not spaz out. No, because you're messing with your money. So uh, we can't talk about the Cappingers and the, you know what I'm saying? We can't talk about none of the big wigs, none of the, none of them. People. We can't really say that to them when we do the same thing. We do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? We might not be doing the journals. Some people are doing the journals and writing out the articles and stuff. Some of them are doing it, but most people, they're writing their articles, but they're getting out here on YouTube and they're writing their articles orally. Oh, well, hey, man, you, you got errors and small missions in those articles, man. You be omitting a whole lot of things. It's easy to ride high and see high, high, he, he, but you look, you look like you sitting up on the, uh, you're in the booster seat, man. I don't think grown men should be doing that. You still getting spoon fed. But it said you should be eating steak, but you still, you still on that milk. You still on that milk. You still saying pause, like man, what kind of person got to go around saying pause all the time? Other than somebody that's not in part of that lifestyle, because it don't be on my mind enough the way I say something and I gotta stop and think whether or not I need to say it like that. You know, man, I hope you bury that, man. But if you. If you want them all kind of people every five minutes, you gotta say that every five minutes, every three seconds. I'm like, man, come on, man. That's a distraction too. I just want you to open your eyes, man, and just realize, man, um, in some shape, form, or fashion, you you part of the zoo. You part of the zoo too. You know what I'm saying? You you one of them ones in there, you know how they say, like, you know what they always catch, you know what they always catch those um those chimps. Go to Pansy's one, right? Throwing scat at each other. Yeah, you one of them. You one of them. You might be, you one of them too. Always quick to call somebody that, you know what I'm saying? You one of them too. You might you might be in a orangutan. You know what I'm saying? Might be in a different family or species. You might be, you know, you, wanna, you might be in that zoo. You might be in that zoo too. You auditioning now. Might be auditioning, but you out here juggling balls just like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? You out here juggling balls. You out here doing everything. You know what I'm saying? You you out here doing it too. So, you know, I, I think um, when we weaponize the platform and we use it for like we start off good because man, to get into this like what I learned in these little bit years I've been doing it right. Especially since I really started, um, especially since I really started. Um, on the channel and stuff like that and developing i had to get my digital i had to get my graphics right my design and i had to like do it i ain't had no help you know what i'm saying i had to learn trial and error and you can see the growth in it you know what i'm saying but i didn't have no help i didn't latch on to nobody i didn't join no plan i didn't people bit on my channel people stole people mimic you know what I'm saying? Like people like ate off of it. It wasn't. And I was like, man, dang, I must be doing something all right. They, you know, they want to use that. They want to do that. I ain't getting no credit. I stayed true to myself. When I was wrong, I came back and said I was wrong. And in boxing, I don't even want to talk to nobody. If you if you gloating right now because somebody got a pick wrong, I don't even need to talk. We don't even need to talk about boxing. If in a, in a week in a five fights, you ain't get them all right. If you were, I mean, you wouldn't even be on YouTube. You will have so much money because you can make so much money over there in Vegas that you don't need to be on YouTube. Don't stop it, man. But you can't knock what 
brothers are doing just to become the same thing. That's why I said, I, that's why I said, man, oh, nah, man, it's, it's better for me and myself. Whoever rock with me, whoever sign up, whoever get down with me, it's just because they got an open mind, man. You can't be, you can't be led, you can't be slayed. You guys, you got to sit down, dissect and say, you know what? Maybe you got a point. I might not agree. But maybe you got a point. Let's get through this. Let's have this out. So what you think? Because when we start doing that and we start understanding, we start getting back to how it used to be where we can look at each other, we can make certain hand signals and gestures, we can make where we totally understand. That's why when they talk about the African proverb, it be so short but so sweet, meaning they can say they wanted to understand the length, the breadth, the depth, the width, the capacity, the volume, the buoyancy. They wanted to know all of that. So when they spoke about one thing, it meant so many different things so they could say less words and become so much more and they were well understanding. Now we got to say so much and we ain't saying nothing at all. We just started a good cop, bad cop, man. I've I seen people over on other channels inviting people from there over the other. Like, I, I'm just like, man, I don't know what it is, man. It's just a big country club, man. I, I'm like, hey, I like, I like going in the different, like, in this aspect, you know what I'm saying, of YouTube. I like going in the different clubs. And, oh, okay, on that, oh, I might get the history of making for a little while. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go over there and hear some, some smooth jazz. That's how it is, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not getting good cop, bad cop, man. People playing games, at the end of the day, it's all about that bread. I'm going to tell you about that. I'm, I'm going to elaborate on that, um, that renter troll. That's really what's going on. People are popping popcorn, man. I'm trying to tell all, I'm trying to tell everybody, don't get played. Don't get played, man. Don't buy into the fact where you're just going to be another echo chamber, another echo chamber, saying the same thing because, oh, I'm just going to take this, put my little spin on it, and I'm going to say the same thing. It's like, man, I mean, how many different ways can you take mac and cheese? Man? At the end of the day, it's still mac and cheese. It's the same thing. And it ain't the main dish. My appeal to anybody, man, is that um, use your mind, man. Understand that it's like, okay, look, look. What you don't feed can't grow. Well, if you stop paying attention to some of this stuff and you stop paying for some of this stuff, it's just going to stop growing. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to prune the tree. Sometimes... Like the other day I said, man, dang, I might have to change it up. I might have to, man, I lost like one or two. See, I look at the ones and the two. When I lose one, I lose two. I look at it. When somebody drop off, I'm like, it wasn't the message, was it this? Then I was like, man, maybe I need to change. And I said, you know what? No, you need to go harder at what you were saying. That's why I'm back again today with the good cop, bad cop. Because it needs to be said. If you, if you don't like it, drink my brick. The truth is the truth is the truth. People don't like it. I know out here in the streets, I know if somebody running around saying something about me, man, that they could not prove, I'll be ready to hurt somebody. I mean, that's, I think that's everybody online. <laughs> Blue cookie monster. Yeah, like, that's what I be trying to say. Like, we don't act like I, in the real world, man. And um, people be trying to make it seem like it's subliminals and this and this and that. There ain't no, ain't no subliminals. There ain't no. I'm just saying the way we act out here, like when we not online, like when we out at work or we going to the store, or, you know what I'm saying? We dealing with people around. Like, you, everybody is at, on, on high alert. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are ready to go. Like, you got to walk. Like, when you leave and you get off, like, this is just entertainment. When you out there, man, you got to look. The thing that, the thing that happen out there is, like, you don't act like that. You don't do that. It's common curse, but online, it I guess it ain't no rules. You can say whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. Like, there's a bunch of characters. Are you a character? I'm not. I've been trying to have little props and all that, trying to do little different things. 
to a certain extent. You know what I'm saying? That's why I try to switch it up with the wardrobe and try to have the background split it and all that. But at the end of the day, man, I can't give it, man. I can't get on no dog and plenty. I can't do it. And I can't rock with nothing. I might, I might be with it and showing support and like, yeah, but as I start seeing different things that's not right, that don't sit well, I can't rock with it. You know what I mean? I don't see good things in it, but I can't. You know what I'm saying? So, I would, this is the first hack, man. Good cop, bad cop. The other hack is rent a troll. People will actually pay troll to come on and troll. Why? Because people would sit around and listen to the hour. Think about it now. People will rent a troll, man. Don't get played. People will have people and they will go at them hard and they keep allowing them to come back and it becomes a part of the gimmick. I watch this. I, I watch one person do this for like at least two years now. I see, I see one person doing it. Now other people are doing it. Now they just, now the, the, the trollage and like, man, people are popping popcorn, man. This is, uh, this is wrestling for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? I said that a long time ago. I heard somebody say it again here recently. And I was starting to look at it like, man, these people be popping popcorn. That's why I was starting to say like silent agreement. <laughs> when I say the silent agreements in boxing, man, like when I seen that age, that age, that month, the age money, the, the mob. When I saw that man, and I saw that conversation between uh, Shakur and Devin, I was like, man, they had a silent agreement. So why are you letting your blood pressure? I started thinking about. It. I said, look, man, we already know what's going on, man. They had a signed agreement, man. Don't be out here juggling balls, man, for no reason. Extra hard, you know what I'm saying? Most people be juggling like three balls. You got like five balls you juggling, man. It's like, but they do that at? You should be getting paid for that. <laughs> but people will run a troll and people will start beef. Hey, man, and I heard somebody say, they were like, hey, man, call me and do this. It's like, they, they got they got you by the, you know what I'm saying? Come on, A's, man. It's good cop, bad cop. Want to come on? Say something early in the day, oh man, this, this and then later on, or the same, or the same faction, they do that a lot. They do that a lot. That two facing. You know what I'm saying? That two facing. Y'all know two face. They be doing that two face. They'll come out in the morning and say something. And they come out in the evening and say the total opposite. But most of it is the good cop, bad cop. They all in cahoots, man. Don't get caught up, man. Be creative, man. You know what I'm saying? It's something I think that each and every one of us, especially the ones that really had the gall and the guts to be able to get out here and, you know, talk about boxing and have something to bring to the table about boxing. You know what I'm saying? Some entertainment about boxing. If you stay in your vein, man, people going to gravitate toward you just because of you, who you are. Something that you might, you know what I'm saying, tell them or whatever. You ain't got to be like everybody else. And you ain't got to just follow along or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Be Don't be afraid to stand out on your own. Like, when I start seeing... When I start seeing so many people on the same sheet of music about the same things in every situation, I'm like, nah, man. It's a game. Don't get played. So I talked about the chessboard the other day. You know what I'm saying? I realized, hey, I might be a hater, man. There's some people out here doing some big pimping. Who... Ah. And I said, hey, look, man, it ain't got nothing to do with you pimping your hoes. You know what I'm saying? My bad. You know what I'm saying? Somebody had to pull my coattail. And I said, hey, man, you know, do your thing, man. I ain't got nothing to do with you and your, I ain't got nothing to do with you and your congregation. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I got a little something bubbling over it. I ain't trying to do that. You know what I'm saying? But it's a game. No. So, that's what it is, man. Um, and I'm gonna start keep. I'm gonna keep going into this, man. You know, I got I got my boxes to watch collection. You know, um, I got uh some boxes that I want to talk about here. You know, I do really want to do a piece on Bivol, um, and what's going on with Bivol. Um, I want to talk about uh, the talented Mr. David Morrell. He said, outside the ring, I respect 
everything and everybody. But inside the ring, I don't respect nothing, man. <laughs> he got the hardest slogan in the game, man. He been fighting Canelo mandatory since 2021. And y'all want me to say every time I get ready to talk about Jamel Charlo and Canelo, hey, when I really think I'm not saying nothing like that about Canelo. I hope Jamel serve him. He bigger, he stronger, he faster, he more vibrant, he got less wear and tear. He ain't never got caught cheating. So I'm wrong with mine. I'm not gonna sit up here, oh, because of his personality, he hurt and man got the nerve to talk about somebody else's feelings. Then you talk about Jamel and how he talked because he hurt your feelings. It's something he said in the interview. I ain't talk about no actions. I ain't talk about no waffling. I ain't talk about nobody. That's, I ain't talk about man. It's like, it's like when you go out somewhere and, and y'all, you and somebody supposed to do something there. I don't know if I want to do that. You know, yeah, I want to do it. No, I don't know if I want to do that. I want to do it. No, I don't know if I want to do that. You gonna wait for me? Like you gonna be like, man, come on. The clock is ticking. We dismiss all that. We find any kind of way not to support our brothers, man. We need to support them all. If I can see Canelo on, on, on the camera, you know what I'm saying, dancing with his daughter like that, then the way he was doing it, how uncomfortable she looked, and all his Mexican fans behind him, we need to get behind all ours. We just be online bickering and, and, and arguing and fussing and trying to slander like, yo, fighter got a fight coming up. I ain't seen you do a video about them yet. You out here juggling ball. Anyways, man, um, I just figured, man, I come on here and tell y'all about this good cop, bad cop routine, man. I'm watching start jumping off the pages, man. Watch all this. Look at all this manufactured beef, man. Instead of people using their resources and getting lit and having something that's going to be sustaining. You know what I'm saying? Something that's going to sustain them. People are using it the wrong way, man. I salute what a lot of people are doing. I see their creativity. And a lot of people, man, I see what a lot of people are doing. Cookie Marley said, you cooking tonight, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm cooking. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to. Got a little, little, you know what I'm saying? Got a little something. I see a lot of people doing a lot of things. There's a lot of creative different people, man. You know what I'm saying? Even with all, all the fancy stuff or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Um. See a lot of people doing their thing out here, man. I salute everybody, man. Like, I, and I'll sit there and listen to somebody that I totally don't agree with. Just the support. I go by a like and, and, and share a like, or, or you know what I'm saying? Just the support. You know too many times in life. Everywhere we go, nope. You can't have it. Nope, you can't have that loan. Nope, you can't get that car. Nope, you can't have this job. Nope, you, no, you can't buy that. Nope. You gotta think about it, man. And I'm not no fan. I'm just making an illustration. But if you think about it, Buffy and JV wanted to buy the Panther. Was money in our or was it was money an issue? Was money an issue? Why didn't Puffy and Jay Z why wasn't they able to get the Panther? If money wasn't the issue, what was the issue? It's just food for thought, man. Um, thanks for support. Thanks for supporting Cookie Monster. I hope Charlo whip him too. Yeah, man, I'm pulling for it, man. Like, hey, we find we we are very man. We are so creative and figuring figuring out why we're not gonna do certain things and why we're not gonna support. Oh man, I don't like this personality. Oh man, oh, he said he said still pay the bills against Wilder. Like what? Skills who pay the bills? People say that about anybody else. They buy. They say that about blood. They say skills pay the bills. I just find it odd that we always. I mean, we get real creative. Like some of the stuff that's coming about. I, I'm just. I'm recording these. I'm. I'm. Hey, I'm taking snapshots and comments. I'm looking at everything, man. This is the boss of boxing, man. I'm telling you what's really going on, man. But no shame. You know what I'm saying? I, again, I ain't trying to 
Stay on the quiet coattail, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to scuff nobody gators, you know what I'm saying? Pimp. Ooh. All means, pimp away. You know what I'm saying? Slap your congregation. Shear the sheep. Who am I? You know what I'm saying? Who am I? I'm not trying to get away in the way of your collection plate, brother. I'm just saying that uh my perspective. And what I'm all what I'm here about is what about, man. Yeah, I'll talk my little stuff or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'll do this, but I'll always be able to talk like, yeah, ever give. We be so it be sounding so crazy because we go all the way out of our way to just sell out. I don't care if I'm dead ass wrong about Canelo and Jamel Charlo. I'm rooting for him. I don't want him to change his personality. I don't want him to change who he is. I don't want him. I'm not going to overanalyze how he's acting right now. All I know is this the biggest fight right now. He's the most disrespected, undisputed champion in the game. And if he do it, we already got people talking about Canelo and another person. Respect that. He got to fight. I don't care. I hope Jamel knock him out. Lines only. That's how I feel, man. We got to get more creative and finding ways to continue to support our people. Not creative ways to not, because you're going, there's a lot of stuff that we say and do. I could be like, oh, what? okay, what? Oh, you wearing that? Oh, okay. you continue to support that. You continue to support that by wearing that, doing this, doing that. And I, I came to the revelation, man, not too long ago, man. When you didn't wear, hey, listen, it sound real corny. When you don't wear name brand clothes, guess what? You ain't supporting somebody that ain't that ain't, that's, that would never support you. You might have got rid. You might not support that brand, but you somebody in that clique. You still buying. You gotta continue to support ours. Like yeah, people say some stuff. Sometimes I find myself saying, "Man, I'm just not even gonna comment." It's not a good look for my man. Not a good look for my man. Standing in the same, you know, we all in the DMV. It's not a good look for this man to be always saying something about this man. We all out here. That's DMV business. You can't even handle that without looking all sloppy out here. I don't like it. What can I say? I don't like it. I'm not going to add to it. I'm not going to let no outsiders come through. I'm not going to join the bandwagon with a bunch of people from all the other. Y'all ever notice that some people, don't matter who it is from the East Coast, they just don't like them. They always find some kind of way. No matter where they from, they got something to say. Y'all don't realize that? Maybe it's just me, man. I just think I'll be a little bit more consistent with going live and talking about, you know what I'm saying? But um, we got to stop people what's going on. We see the good cop, bad cop. Boxing conversations, it's two face. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna probably do rent a troll. And I got some examples. And I'm gonna do rent a troll, but trolls tell the truth, in which I'm gonna highlight how people are buying trolls, man. Yeah, people paying for trolls. People are paying other factions to start beef so they can go back and forth. And they all and they meet up and have you know what I'm saying they laugh and joke about it behind closed doors. But meanwhile, you out here all in the comment section, super chatting, juggling ball. Anyways, man, uh thanks, Cookie Monster, man. You always support. You know what I'm saying? You are a real one. You heard me. I ain't really want much, y'all. I just wanted to touch on a couple things, man. Um, I, I can go into the first news. I can get into the uh, I can get into some of these, you know, these real boxing conversations. You know what I'm saying? Some of the fights. I got some things coming out about the actual fighters as we get close. As far as my predictions, I learned something after that blood and spit fight. As far as the weigh in and the lead up to the weigh in and all of that, man. I gotta look, man. I gotta take that in consideration, man. I gotta take that in consideration now when I when I look at fight. You know, I got my favorite. Yeah, you laughing at me. Yeah. <laughs> but I got my favorite. You know what I'm saying? I got the ones that I like. You know what I'm saying? But there's some unknowns, man. And when and the way people have been popping hot, it's like, if you're gonna talk about PED right now, wouldn't it be appropriate to be talking about Alicia Bumgarner? That's the topic of the conversation. Bring on some balance. 
I mean, but just to accuse somebody without no proof. Nah. I mean, that this is not my cup of tea. You know what I'm saying? I'll still rock, but if that's all that's going on right now, that's all we're doing is just and then you know, and we're discounting people like Earl, like I mean, you can say I'm a, a fanboy, I'm a aerosexual, I'm a whatever you whatever word they, they want to call it when you support somebody, you know what I'm saying? But like if it was not for Earl Spence, you wouldn't have got that fight. What we look like with the moves that he was making, stand around to get that fight and keep that fight going, what we look like turning our back on those kind of fighters. That's like don't that's the vein of people who look to make the fight that's stubborn to actually sit there and try to go get it. That's like in the vein of who we that's the vein of what we want all these bosses to do. Right? Oh no, that's different. I got you. Anyways, man, um look out for that new product, man. Remember, I got the um I got the knee pad. Um a Kevlar cap at the knees. I call them slippers for the knees. I got um I got the flip-flops. You know what I'm saying? Everybody who was everybody who was on the um spinch train who done flopped over the bud or went and ran over the boot, you know what I'm saying? I got the flip-flops, they're reversible. You can have both your whatever favorite fighter is you flip flop, you can have them. So if a girl would have come back, you can reverse them back and they'll have Earl face on them. You know what I'm saying? But if you lose again, you can flip them back and they'll have blood on them. You know what I'm saying? Like, look out for that product. But I got the handlebar. Since we out here boom booming, you know what I'm saying? I got a handlebar. You can get your favorite fighter picture on it. Hand size, you know what I'm saying? That'll help grip. They got a little, you know how those things. You stick your forearm, it's like that, man. I, I got the handlebar. You can get your favorite fighter on it, man. Since we out here handlebar, you know what I'm saying? That's the latest product. Look out for that, man. I got a lot more coming. Um, thanks for everybody who rock with me, man. Um, thanks for everybody who kick with me, who rock, who rock with me, man, who support me, man, who ain't scared to show. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people be uh be watching, but everybody be scared to say something, man. <laughs> I guess uh, I don't know, man. But um, I know that my target audience is here. You know what I'm saying? I know that um, we might lose onesies and twosies. You know what I'm saying? Here and there, somebody might dip out. You know what I'm saying? I impossibly. But we still growing, man. We just came a long way in so many ways, man. So um, I'm, I'm happy for the little channel, man. It's growing. You know what I'm saying? We maintain our integrity. You know what I'm saying? We support everybody because you can't name a bunch of channels where you don't see, you haven't seen. I'm, and I'm talking about for a while, like a couple of years I was super chatting. So can't nobody really say nothing bad. That did not be making too much sense. The new fight coming up, you heard about it. Yup. But um, if you rock with me, you rock with me, man. Hey, I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but um, one thing you don't got to worry about me, I ain't flip-flopping. And I move along with the time. Like, if I had heard that somebody had popped, I'd be all over it. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't dive in it. But when I heard Connor pop, he, he came out of my intro. Um, The Alicia, I was like, dang, that's messed up. I was, like, calling her out on... um. I'm trying to keep me on here. Come on. You're trying to keep me on here because Rista wants to fight the ref neck. You want to fight the ref? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But, um, you know, uh, we're in a niche market, man. And, um, You gotta have a gut for boxing. Oh, this guy. I saw it on CNN. Yeah, she was trying to fight Keith Thurman. I guess she ain't like that backlash from the clan. <laughs> the clan gave her a lot of backlash, man. They were, I was like, ooh, yeah. <laughs> I don't want none of that. You know what I'm saying? They get to pour that tea on me. <laughs> They get to pouring that tea on me, you know what I'm saying? They start pouring that tea on her. 
You want to fight the ref? Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> but yeah, man, um, I'm going to get out of here. You know what I'm saying? I thought, uh, I really didn't invite no smoke. But um, I don't really think people want to really want to come over and get no smoke. What what smoke is there? I I really don't know what it is. You know, what I'm, I'm trying to be a realist. Try to stay on the up and up, man. We got a lot of good fighters uh out here. A lot of things to look for and be positive about out here. You know what I'm saying? And um, don't get caught up, man. Don't get waffle. Don't get caught up in the good cop, bad cop. You know what I'm saying? The devil, you know what I'm saying? One, somebody always playing the devil's advocate. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's these couple people, man. They've been doing this ping pong stuff. And they doing it so well. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to let the sheep know. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to let the sheep know that, hey, man, you might be part of the, you might be part of the zoo too. You know what I'm saying? You might be part of the zoo too. You out here juggling balls. Um. Don't get good cop, bad cop. Know your rights. You know what I'm saying? How <laughs> Don Tripp said, let me speak to my lawyer. <laughs> Don Tripp said, let me speak to my lawyer. That's one of the hardest, you know what I'm saying? Don Tripp, salute Don Tripp, man. That's one of the mixtapes. One of my mixtape guys, man. I've been listening to Don Tripp, man. I went back to Obi Christ, you know what I'm saying? To Obi Christ. That that's the beans before that, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'll be on, but that's enough for the day, man. I think everybody who um who rock with me, man, if you came through and said hello or showed your eyeballs, even though you know what I'm saying, you really did speak. I appreciate you know what I'm saying, you for stopping through and checking it out. And if you catch it on the payback, keep words some payback. I know the clan, the clan, hey, the clan might get you. I know the clan might get you if they see that comment. Just use your use your troll account. You know what I'm saying? This next Tuesday, we're gonna do trolls tell the truth. And I want you to come in here with your troll account and you can really um tell us some proof. You're gonna tell us some proof. Cause I always say uh feed the troll, which is something that I always get. Um because I always say I'm a troll. People are like, oh, 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 oh. it's like, no, nah, because nowadays when you tell somebody the truth about something, they say, ah, oh, man, you just troll. So I say, hey, you just troll. I mean, tell the truth. <laughs> That's what that means. But uh, bring your burner account, you know what I'm saying? Next next Tuesday when we do trolls, tell the truth. I'm going to tell you about the winner troll. You know what I'm saying? And some dots that I connect, you know what I'm saying? For um, next week. So, have your burner account ready, because I know the clan gonna get you. If they see you over here, that's the what they do, man. They're gonna they'll, they'll bring you out in front of everybody and, and give you a whooping for seeing you over in the comments. You know, having any kind of whatever kind of you what are you doing over there? Like I know the backlash, so use your troll account, and we're gonna have a trolls tell the truth next Tuesday, you know what I'm saying? In which when you tell somebody the truth, especially about their favorite fight or something that's going on. They say troll. So we're gonna we're gonna go tell the truth. Bring your burner account for the time we'll get on to you. You know what I'm saying? I already know how that happens. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of I get a lot of backlash and a lot of my they, they, all of my comments under the video, especially when I talk about certain people. And I just be keeping it in the book. Even when I give credit, I just be keeping it in the book. I just be telling the truth. In in the meantime, I'll be feeding the trolls. I feed the clowns too. I see y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I see y'all too. We feeding everybody over here. You know what I'm saying? But um, thanks for everybody who came out. You know what I'm saying? I really appreciate everything. Everybody we're boxing, but we don't take things for face value. We do that body work.
all the better around from my outro, man. I'll leave y'all with a title on the when I'm gonna play. Yeah. This is a highlight for the people, man. So before you say I'm throwing, this is a highlight. Man. Thank <laughs> you.